Page Cloud Complete Tutorial for Beginners Step by Step. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create our own website using Page Cloud Service. They provide us the opportunity to choose the templates and then customize them. So basically it's pretty easy, let's get started. We need to visit our website pagecloud.com and here we are, we can find some information about the features, templates, pricing and blog of course. In order to create an account we need to click on create a website and after that we'll come to this page where we need to register using our name, email address and password. I already have an account so I'm going to click on sign in right up here and in a few seconds we'll come to our like home page. In the right top corner we have the opportunity to, to manage our account where we can find the profile settings, billing, referrals and privacy center also with the option to sign out and on the only one page here we can find our all of our websites like we can switch in a different folders e-commerce draft publish and so on so let's create a new website to do this we need to click on create new site in the right top corner here so what are you creating we need to choose the category we are creating our like uh, website for so we can click on basically let it be the e-commerce site click on continue and after that we'll come to this page where we can find a lot of different templates we can use as for our like shop or like blog and some other websites we're going to create so let's try to find something interesting as for us i think this one is pretty cool so we can preview the website to find how does it looks like as like the website this one looks pretty good so let's click on select and we'll come to the uh, page of managing we need to change the name let it be like the name of ch our channel helperman yeah continue and uh, basically in a few seconds our website will be successfully created sometimes it could be something went wrong so we need to wait for a little let it be like this so let's create maybe helperman one so as you can see it's not that good all time all the process could lag for a little so we can try to come back to another page here so basically let's go back and we'll try to find it right up here on your site and maybe it was already created so in a few seconds we'll preview all of our sites and yeah as you can see it was successfully created but there was some errors so let's click on edit to go to edit page and now it looks like this in the top of the screen we have the option with dashboard pages e-commerce blog inbox team shares and settings where we can manage all the pages we'll go to pages here uh, we can find the dashboard with all the information all the updates and so on and of course uh, we can just simply uh, uh, you know go to this site here click on edit once more and add some pages you can just simply click on home and go to the editing page where we can customize every single part basically this is our editor in the left side we have the menu where we can change site design switch between pages sections library add some shapes images text videos buttons forms icons components apps and so on in the top of the screen we have the option to switch between our pages as i already said as you can see also we can switch between different devices to view how does it looks like on mobile for example only this part is for mobile uh, also we can undo or redo all of our actions in the right top corner or we can click on save and after that the website will be successfully saved so in order to customize we can just simply click on some elements here and as you can see we have option to duplicate to delete or we can change the position we can change what's inside so let's change the text helper man let it be like this we can change the format make it like heading one or so on change the size change the font so we can change all the properties as for us uh, which are important as for us so let it be like this maybe and as you can see every single block here is available oh uh, also there is like a website is divided into different sections as you can see and we have the option to change the position for example this is the first section here this is the second the third and so on we can change the order of these sections we can like change place them uh, like this here 
or here so we can change the position change the order it's pretty important sometimes it's important also we can duplicate if we need to create two similar sections we are going to use for example we can add some information here and also add some information here so basically we can also change the background make it like with image make with gradient or with color there are a lot of stuff we can change change padding borders background and so on also we can add some animation for example we can view yeah it looks like this as you can see uh, go to advanced settings add some css selectors data attributes script editor and so on so they provide us a huge amount of different features we can use to make our website look uh, much better uh, let's try to add something for example let's try to add image for example right up here and i would like to add it to this section so let it be like right up here so we can change the animation let it be like this maybe so yeah let's also add some text for example we need to add some informational text let it here so in the future i'll customize it and it will look much better but as in like as an example it's pretty cool so let's also add some icons maybe let's add the icon of the uh, you know uh, aircraft or something like this let it be like this uh, so it's pretty easiest for me just to drag and drop and use it we can add some videos if you need add the like uh, some landscapes or something like this so as you can see it's pretty easy in order to uh, publish we need to click on save and then we can go to dashboard to discover all of our websites go back to your size and as you can see now it looks like this so we can visit it by simply clicking on this uh, link near the uh, near the website so now it looks like this we need to click on publish in the right top corner here and as you can see your email address needs to be verified before you can publish your website please check your email including your spam folder for the verification method so we need to verify our email as you can see and after that we'll be able to publish our uh, website successfully it's available for free with their subdomain as you can see and they also provides us a lot of stuff with like paid versions if you want to find the plans we can do it simply on page cloud um, main uh, page cloud main uh, you know website so let it be like this and uh, we'll come to pricing and as you can see there is like three plans small business business and pro so you can try it for free and after that decide what would you like to use like the most popular is of course for business 36 dollar per month or we can simply use the small business plan it depends on your choice so basically this is a way of how can we deal with pagecloud.com hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye